Bert Kreischer and Tom Segura are absolute frauds living a life of parody because it's about time we put two bears in one grave. That's right. I just wanted to rant a little bit about these two clowns, these two supposed comedians trying to I, at this point they're just a parody of themselves and they clearly don't like their fans they don't like anyone other than they want to be the hollywood elite because they brought jimmy freaking kimmel on their show and then couldn't understand why nobody likes jimmy kimmel and why no one likes burke kreischer other than the fact that he lies about everything and that jimmy kimmel's a giant hypocrite who went from the man show of harassing women to being like, please don't harass women and don't wear blackface, and getting yelled at by black people because he's not a very smart individual. But you know what? He gets to go to Italy with Howard Stern now. So it looks to me like Tom Zagora is aiming to go to Italy with Howard Stern and Jimmy Kimmel. They ask him about the Illuminati. All of this is ridiculous. Um, but... First, we're just going to check it on Crack Amigo. He, he predicted the future. How could he do that? This is it. Many staff motherfuckers ain't funny. They ain't giving nothing. All they do is take money. And it's so gay to get getting paid. That's why I'm putting two bears in one grave. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> A parody becomes reality, people. Crack Amigo already set sights on them, and they couldn't get any lower. It, the past couple months have been some pretty interesting ones for this pair. I've hit them where I could, but this just kind of takes the cake. First, they bored us to death with the biggest announcements of their careers as comedians. I use that term very loosely. Comedians, Burt Kreischer and Tom Segura, launch Poor Osos Vodka, which is, yeah, sure, whatever, man. Like, they spent an entire episode just plugging how great this is. How great their vodka is. How amazing. He'd have to get, you know, Burr would have to give up Tito's. Ridiculous. It's one thing to advertise something. It's another thing to shill it to your audience, you know. Next, they'll be shilling nicotine pouches because I'm, I'm sure that's going to happen next. We also had them show up at the Tom Brady roast right and uh all they did was embarrass themselves they were not funny and uh they did a slideshow because they were asked to and everybody else made fun of them as tony hinchcliffe cliff and um nikki glazer glazed all over them and made them look like amateur hour at the uh for comedians i'm just so sick of these two and I'm pretty sure that everybody can sense exactly what's going on with them. They're just selling out. Selling out. Laying down. Sticking up for the man. Right? That's what they're doing. And I just, I just don't get it. Uh, you know, these guys, you know, Bert's the perpetual loser. But now they're both millionaires and they just don't care about the little guy anymore. Isn't that, isn't that a tale as old as time? That we were selling out, giving up to the man. That's right. Well, that's what they did by it finally, it's it's all over. They brought Jimmy Kimmel in, and I just I just don't understand why is this even Jimmy Kimmel's like, why did you bring me on 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 your show? Everyone's going to hate this. 98% of your fans hate me. Why would you do this? It, it, it just it makes no sense. So uh, there's 3,000 comments. How many people watch this? 284,000 people watched this one day ago. I will not give them the play. No, thank you. Just came here to see how many people hate Jimmy Kimmel. It's a lot. Good, good call. Hate from Epstein Island. Uh-huh. It's gotten to the point where there are people paying an additional $1.99 to talk S in a members-only section. Oh, my gosh. Uh, 
I, w- I never thought I would see the day where Bert would take second place in the hate comments. Thank you, Jimmy. <laughs> this episode is brought to you by all the worst products in time. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> it's just so... Here's people here for the negative comments. Right? Again, no loyalty to Rogan from the boys, huh? Remember, this is the guy. Rogan literally called him out. He called him out when the whole ivermectin thing came down. And he was like t- saying that, you know, we're going to take advice from a man who who drinks horse goo. Like, regardless of what your policies are, I'm pretty sure Andrew Cuomo came out and proved to everybody that everybody should be taking horse tranquilizer. First of all, everyone should be taking horse tranquilizers. Secondly, they should all be eating as much horse goo as humanly possible. Whatever that means to you, I recommend it. Because I am a doctor. (laughs) On the weekends, right? Uh, It's just funny. (laughs) People are just railing this. Uh, and, And amazingly... They're, they're, they don't even ask Jimmy anything about Rogan. And and Rogan's their boy. He literally created their career. And they have this shill on. Again, remember who Jimmy Kimmel is. I don't care who... who You just know he's a shill. That's all that matters. It doesn't matter which side he's for. He sold his soul to Hollywood. He sold his soul to Faust. This guy is a complete fraud. You know? If you look back in his history, he's just a hypocrite. And I do not like hypocrisy. So, what do you guys think? Is this the end of two bears in one cave? Have they finally pushed their fans too far? Their fans only want to see the the hate. they've, They've succumbed to the dark side of the force. But is the dark side the right side or is it the wrong side? Let me know in the comments below what you guys think. Is this is this it for them? I could go on for hours about these two losers. But... I need to know what you guys think. In the meantime, check out our full-length audio podcast. It is on iTunes. You can also catch the live stream here Friday night, 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you like what we do here, like it, subscribe, please. It helps us grow the channel. Grow the hate. It's not just a hate channel. It's a fun channel. Come join us on the live stream. Be sure to yuck it up with us. You'll enjoy it. We promise. Anyway, thank you so much for listening. Thank you for checking this out. But in the meantime... I got two bears, and I only got one grave, but I'm on to the next one.